Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hopefully today I don't die because we are going to try Asian snacks. So, while I was in Minnesota, uh, we were actually driving on our way to Nebraska and I came across this giant dome cornmeal looking place, but it was the biggest candy store in Minnesota. So as we were driving, and we weren't going to stop because I love candy. Don't get me wrong. I'm obsessed with candy, but I don't need candy. But we decided to stop because I saw that there were different like countries of different candies. Like I saw Swiss candy, German candy, and Mexican candy. The one sign I didn't see was Japanese candy. But I assumed that if they had all these other countries, they had to have it. They just didn't have a sign out. Well, as I finally at the very back found all of the Japanese candy, I also found other Asian candies. So I don't want to title this Japanese candies because I believe that some of them might be from like Thailand um, and to be honest I'm not sure the other countries. I couldn't read the labels. So we're going to go ahead and try this big old bag of candies and see how that goes. Let's get started. So I tried not to get all sweets. I tried to get some salty in there but at the same time because this wasn't one of those delivery boxes. I definitely was way more picky about the things that I picked out like there are milk cups and pudding cups and shrimp chips and that's not really my thing so I kind of steered clear. I would eventually like to get a box and definitely get out of my comfort zone and try stuff that I'm not exactly used to but in the meantime this is what we're doing. So the first one is going to be these. And there are some small English labels on the back. Um, this one just says chocolate snack, strawberry. So, I mean, this is, it says it is a product of Japan. I will admit, all of their packaging is just like so adorable, and I was obsessed. Okay, so it's like, ooh, so it's like a little tray. They almost look like little hearts. Um, and they smell like Neapolitan ice cream. They feel... I thought I was going to say marshmallow, but they're actually not that soft. Um, here we go. So the one Asian candy that I have had is Pocky. And Pocky is like these little breadsticks that have chocolate on them, um, whether it be like strawberry, chocolate, white chocolate, they have all sorts of different flavors. And that's exactly what these taste like. It tastes like you took the Pocky without like the breadstick. I don't hate these, but I don't love these. Um, would I eat these again? Yeah, probably. So the next item that we have is going to be this one right here. These are gummies, and these are supposed to be, these are bourbon fettuccine gummy cola. Um, so I'm guessing they taste like cola. And these don't have, oh, again, product of Japan. Just opening this, just pulling just this part off before I open this part, like I smell cola but the more you smell it not not too great they are definitely gummies um, and they've got like the sugary gummy seasoning stuff on them so at first you get like a small cola flavor and then it gets kind of sour, and then it gets kind of bitter. Um, if I were to rate them, these would have been like a solid six and a half. These are like a two, maybe. So speaking of Pocky, I did get some Pocky, um, and I got the matcha flavored because I've not actually had the matcha flavored before. Um, and these are actually a product of Thailand, so these are not Japanese. I've had the strawberry ones, the chocolate ones, and the cookie and cream ones. 
I think the cookie and cream ones are my favorite, but I low-key just like love white chocolate. So smelling them, they don't smell bad. Like I get the normal Pocky breadstick smell. Um, it almost smells like tea, but like sweeter. And I'm pretty sure matcha is supposed to be like green tea. Yeah, green tea cream. So these are definitely not expired, but they taste it. Like, they taste it stale. And now I'm getting that tea taste. So those were definitely better than the cola, but they weren't fantastic. So I'll give them like a three. So at the end of this, I actually want to see what ranks the highest. Um, of course, this is my own biased opinions. So there are things that like you guys might like. And if you are any of these, um, like so far, Japanese or from Thailand, I'm sorry to offend you if I don't love it. Uh, don't hate me, but that's just my opinion. So this is the cute packaging that I'm talking about. That's what our next product is. It says it is a peach gummy. So I love like peach rings. So I'm hoping that these are really, really good. And these are also a Japanese product. Again, just taking that tear off and before I fully opened it, I got the peach smell. And they smell amazing. They smell just like peach rings. And they're so cute. They're little paw prints. And they are very squishy. They're, they're definitely a, a real gummy. Oh yeah. These are the best. I could snack on these all day. Um, I would definitely give these like a solid eight, eight and a half. So this one is a grape, um, grape chewing candy. They, they definitely feel kind of soft in the packaging. Um, they feel as soft as like these did where they were kind of soft, but not really. And these are also a Japanese product. I don't hate grape, but I don't love grape. So like, I love Laffy Taffy, and I'm not opposed to eating grape Laffy Taffy, but that's exactly what these smell like, just like, but a very like, strong grape Laffy Taffy. So they're just these little lavender colored balls. They're like, again, kind of soft, not really. Very big grape flavor, but like, like I said, the artificial grape, but I don't hate it. They almost felt like Hubba Bubba chewing gum. Um, so it says it's a chewing candy. I almost wonder if it's gum. I just swallowed it, so. But on the back, it just says soft candy, so I'm not quite sure. Um, I will give these, let's give these a solid five. So they're still above the Pocky. So the next one is just like that cola style one, um, but these are actually peach flavored. Like I said, I picked out things that I knew that I was going to like because I was being biased. Um, and so I'm pretty sure I should like these. Like these smelled like almost real peaches, but like you could tell that it's candy. These smell like if you took peaches and made them a perfume. I don't love that smell. And they're, they're, they look just like the cola ones. They are a lot softer though. Kind of 
because that one was a little sour and a little bitter also but I definitely got the peach flavoring out of that these weren't terrible but I think I don't I think I like the grape ones better so I'm gonna have to give these like a four and a half so I like these because these look like a comic book um they are just super cola candy and so they don't feel very hard in the packaging it looks like on the back though they show kind of how it is and it says that there's a powder in the middle cola powder on the outside and a layer in the middle with cola candy so these were a Japanese product and these are also a Japanese product So they do come individually packed, which is kind of cool. They just say Super Cola. I'm not getting any smell from them yet. So let's open this up. <laughs> this straight up smells like a cleaning product. Um, it's definitely got like some some powder on it. I'm kind of nervous for this one. It's so sour. The level. So, I mean, here's my thought. I like sour candies. I think the sour candy is a powder warhead, which I know there's way more sour out there. But with the warheads, I feel like if you suck like a, a decent amount of length, you get to that sweet. That was so sour, I couldn't even like allow myself to get to that like potential sweet, which I'm guessing just tastes like cola. So these are gonna be dead last. These get a one. Um, I'm so disappointed in those. So the next ones that we have are these. They are caramel corn. Um, they feel very crunchy. And these are also a product of uh, Japan. So, so far the only one that's not um, Japanese is actually the Pocky because they're from Thailand. And that's just me straight up reading it off the box. I'm not saying they don't have these in Japan. I'm just saying that it straight up says product of Thailand. So, the rest have all been from Japan so far. So, first things first, opening this, they smell amazing. It smells just like caramel corn, and I haven't had caramel corn in a long time, but I'm excited. So they actually kind of look weird. They look like mini croissants. Again, smell amazing. Yep. These, these are the bomb. I could literally eat this whole bag. It was so good. They're like, they're just little corn puffs with caramel flavoring on them and they're not too caramely they're not too soft they're not too hard they're these are literally perfect these by far are in the lead these are like a nine solid nine and our last product they are these here these are They're just like noodles. They they remind me a lot of like ramen noodles. But like in college, if I drank a little bit too much and I come home, I would actually crunch up a bag of ramen noodles and eat them either plain and dry or add just a tad bit of seasoning, shake them up, and then eat them. Um, 
scarf. We have all Japanese. The Pocky is from Thailand. And these are from Taiwan. So these say super spice flavor. Let's see uh, how spicy we can get. And I like spicy stuff, but not like super crazy. So they're so cute. Little individual bars in their individual packaging. I can't smell anything yet. It doesn't really have a smell. It, it definitely, like, if it did have, like, a real smell, it, it kind of smells like ramen. kind of smells stale. Yeah, it looks just like ramen noodles. Um, let's try it. This is my drunk food. Like, this is actually pretty perfect. Like, just ramen noodles. There's a decent amount of seasoning. At the very end of it, you can get a little tiny kick, but nothing crazy. Yeah, this is good. Um, oh, good. But I'm also really hungry. If I had to put this up there... Caramel chips for sure win. Um, the peaches were like a close second. I think I would put these in front of the Neapolitan like heart bites. As far as places go, we have the caramel corn in first, the little peach um, paws in second, the spicy ramen bars, the Neapolitan, the grape soft chews. The peach chews, which were slightly sour, the pocky, the cola chews, and then those sour colas. So overall, I feel like, yes, these are definitely candies from another country. I feel like they're also very similar to things that we have here in the U.S. I know that in the U.S. we've actually adopted a lot more um, of these types of styles and keep them in our um, like supermarkets and stuff, so in that way people from those countries can actually get something without having to like order it online and have it shipped to them and everything. I definitely thought that was pretty cool. I'm really excited to go ahead and try like a box of stuff that I probably might not like as well as I would love to try other countries. So that's next on the agenda. But that's all I've got for today. Uh, links are in the description for all my social media. I appreciate you uh, watching and checking out everything and until next time. Subscribe and like. Bye.